All right, everybody, it's time to lay out a gold code stripe. So because of the inset and the dark colored green, I'm gonna go around and use this white grease pencil and tick my line off because when you go taping, it starts messing with your eyes and it becomes hard to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and tick this off and then I'll get the taping, masking, sanding, painting the gold stripe. So anyhow, here we go, let's get it done. Alright everybody, I got the cold stripe ticked off with the grease pencil and now I'm going to tape. I'm just using regular old blue painters tape. Um, I prefer this over the fine line tape, one, because if you pull the tape too tight, it'll get really thin in areas and you end up with, you know, a wavy type stripe. So, I just always use the blue painters tape and I compensate for that by on the first coat going extremely light and that seals the tape edge off without allowing any bleed through with the, the following coating. So it's just how I've always done it. It's how I'll continue to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it off and I'll get with y'all on the next step. All right, everybody, this is going along pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sand, but I'm gonna just be using a scotch brake. The paint is still extremely fresh and this is all that's required to get the paint to stick. So one of the advantages to using a scotch brake over sandpaper is I can hit my tape edges and I don't have to worry about damaging it or creating openings for bleed through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the rubber dub dubbing and I'll jump in with y'all when it's time to mask. So here we go. She is sanded, so now it's time to run plastic, and I'm just using this easy pre-tape masking film. They call it tape and drape. You can pick this stuff up at Walmart. It's really convenient. It's nice to have. It makes jobs like this go a lot quicker, so I'm just going to go ahead and run the plastic and whatnot and start mixing up paint, so here we go. Let's get it done. bagged off time to solvent wipe and get the spraying and as always i'm going to be using denatured alcohol i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this real quick and then i'm gonna tack wipe it throw the paint in the gun and we're gonna get the spraying so let's get it done All right, here we go. As always, I'm using my handy dandy 3M Mackie spray. I got the 1.2 spray cap on here. And like I said, this is Corda Van Gold. So uh, again, first coat, really light tack coat. Seal that tape edge so there's no bleed through. I'll go ahead and time lapse this. Let's get it done. Coat 
right, coat number three. Moment of truth. Y'all ready to unbag this thing, see what she looks like? Let's do it. Right, that came out pretty nice, so I'm happy with it. It's just another day at the boatyard, and uh, I didn't have no bleed through with my tape. I'll quickly take you for a walk. Uh, once the gold cures, I'll remove my little white ticks and all my smudge marks from, you know, leaning up against or touching it while I was taping off, but it come out pretty nice. I am happy with it. <clears throat> that is the good old Cordovan Gold or Cordovan or however you pronounce it, but nice crisp lines. So, you know, that does help set it off. And once I put that white boot stripe on there, she is gonna be good to go. So anyhow, I'm gonna save the white stripe for another video because I'm gonna be using a homemade projector and I wanna show y'all how I do that for those that don't know or wanna find out an easy way to lay out a good projected straight stripe. So yeah. There's another video. Hit that thumbs up button and uh, I'll put another video out soon. See y'all next time.